It's not every day you get a chance to take a selfie with a convicted felon who can't control his gas. Jimmy Kimmel and Stephen Colbers recently collaborated to mock the Trumps on their own shows. They have brought Trump's legal troubles and his troubled relationship with Melania Trump to light with their hilarious antics. President Joe Biden recently visited the graves of U.S. soldiers buried in France who bravely fought during World War I. Notably, Trump canceled a planned visit to this very same cemetery in 2000. 2018. According to The Atlantic, Trump was heard by staffers calling these fallen soldiers losers and suckers because they died in the war. Donald Trump in 2018 infamously opted not to visit the graves of American soldiers in France because he didn't want to get his hair wet. Also, he called them suckers and losers. That's not a joke. They gave their lives in defense of American freedom. They are in our hearts today and for all time, which I agree with and would even be somewhat moved by. Trump has a terrible history of mocking fallen soldiers as well as prisoners of war. This is one of the many reasons that most veterans can't stand Trump. Trump doesn't know what it truly means to serve, and he often offers little to no sympathy for soldiers who have made the ultimate sacrifice. When it comes to these disgusting remarks, Kimmel doesn't hold back when contrasting Biden's morally commendable activities with Trump's heinous ones. Jimmy Kimmel and Stephen Colbers have found plenty of material for their scathing parodies in the latest legal challenges involving Trump, including the suspension of his gun license. It seems like Trump is attempting to weaken democracy, which soldiers have fought for, an abundance of unanswered questions questions persists, consider his loved ones. Have they vanished? There is no sign of Melania Trump. She was in Manhattan on the day of the verdict, but she has refrained from attending court or making any public comments regarding the trial. For example, where the hell was his family? Notably absent has been Melania Trump. She has not released any public statements about the trial and she never showed up in court. Even though on the day of the verdict, she was in Manhattan. With Colbers bringing up Melania Trump's absence for unknown reasons, the already difficult relationship between Melania and Donald Trump becomes even more complicated. Laura Banani's hilarious portrayal of Melania Trump keeps the lighthearted mood going as she predicts how the former first lady will conduct herself during her trial. Jimmy Kimmel made a lighthearted remark about a Trump ad right away. Do you agree that Trump does everything for show? He is currently on the verge of exploding with emotion, to put it another way. I was prepared for him to let off a wild howl at the moon after that. It is probable that Melania believes she is married to a, married to a raccoon suffering from a terrible case of rabies. Poor Melania, but at the same time, she knew what sort of nonsense she was getting into when she decided to marry someone like Donald Trump. Trump stated that he has never claimed to be a victim or that politics is the driving force behind his opinions during his campaign. That's truly laughable coming from someone like Donald Trump. Kimmel swiftly debunks these baseless accusations, illuminating the fallacies in Trump's statements. Despite his enjoyment of power, Trump is obviously struggling with the fallout from the legal system he sought to reform. Benanti highlights irony and comedy through her imitation of Melania Trump, who seems unconcerned with and detached from Trump's legal battles. Hello, Stephen. It is great to be back on your show. <laughs> you, you actually sound a lot like Melania Trump. What? No, me? Because it could be just a fine. Oh, yes. A fine could be fine. Or, 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 wait, 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 wait. Or he might go to jail. Being on the jury must have led to hard feelings between you and your husband. Oh, please, Stephen. I haven't felt anything hard between us for years. Donald Trump's behavior has reached new levels of lunacy as he endeavors to provide a nice image of his fractured family to the public. Given his recent threats of retaliation, Trump is clearly very unhappy. According to the article that Trump most likely published in the New York Post, his guilty verdict has brought his family back together. This far-fetched fantasy picture clashes with some parts of reality because Melania and he were a 
apart for a long time. To turn a blind eye to Trump's apparent attempts to sway public opinion through media outlets would be a monumental mistake. Concerning Donald Trump, things are more complicated. His lawyer is now bringing up Melania's non-attendance at the proceedings after dragging him to court over mockery from comedians. Melania Trump's choice not to attend her husband's trial was not motivated by a lack of love or support, according to Todd Blanche, Donald Trump's hush money lawyer. Many were perplexed as to why Melania Trump did not attend the trial. Only Eric Trump, who is the son of Donald Trump, routinely traveled with the Trump family. Over the seven weeks of the trial, only Eric regularly showed up. I'm here, Dad! He, Tiffany Trump, and Donald Trump Jr., Tiffany's father, were all there for last week's closing arguments. As the trial progressed, porn star Stormy Daniels claimed that she and Donald Trump had an affair in 2006. Was it hush money to stay silent? Yes. Um, the story was coming out again. Um, I was concerned for my family and their safety. The adult film actress who claims she had an affair with President Trump wants to make a deal tonight. She is offering to give up the money she got paid to keep quiet so she can tell her story. I wish I, wish I knew. I don't. I really don't know what he could possibly be thinking. I don't think Trump understands anything. Right after Melania gave birth to their son Barron, Melania Trump was able to escape the trial unharmed, according to Stephanie Grisham, a longtime assistant to Trump. She was terrified that onlookers would perceive her as weak if she appeared. Forging company documents to cover up payments made to Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election was one of 34 felony counts against Donald Trump. He was found guilty of all 34. Even though they had been silent before their father's guilty conviction, some Trump family members Members, including Ivanka, made statements praising him. Conversely, Melania Trump's inaction on social media and in public remarks raises the possibility that she is dissatisfied with her marriage to Donald Trump. These days, it seems like the Trumps are at the center of every controversy. Also, Jimmy Kimmel is the ideal host to question them. He is incredibly funny and never holds back. His jokes could go on for days. In your view, are love and passion the central themes of Valentine's Day? I don't think so, especially because Melania and Trump are Kimmel's audience. Jimmy Kimmel did not squander any time making the most of this hilarious treasury. An excellent illustration of this is his humorous Valentine's Day mockery of Trump and Melania. The late-night host was able to draw humorous and entertaining conclusions from the situation's absurdity. His happiness was limitless. The night's high point was definitely Kimmel's joke about how the only thing he could have found that resembled a Valentine's Day card were President Trump's email contacts with his own followers. A damning critique of Trump's ideology and his transactional view of human connections. But it wasn't the last word from Kimmel. His second task was to put himself in Melania Trump's shoes and write a heartfelt Valentine's Day card. Despite all the accusations, detentions, and witch hunts that have been waged against you, Melania, my love for you has not faltered. Kimmel had this to say. It sounds like a line from the notebook, doesn't it? Your reliability is unwavering. Kimmel was inconsolable with Lauder. An excellent way to demonstrate how unromantic Trump's message is, is to use the comparison to the romantic comedy. But Kimmel wasn't done yet. He could make sense of Trump's remarks, even if they were like a ransom letter because of Melania's current situation. The comment, which is sarcastically worded, highlights Melania's stereotype as a miserable housewife who is unable to escape her marriage to Trump. Kimmel trotted out Trump's egotism once again by drawing a mock Valentine's Day card featuring the words 100,000 responses now and a button that said make a donation to St. Valentine's Legal Defense Fund. Kimmel also made fun of Trump's proclivity for hubris. The artistic interpretation of Trump's ongoing fundraising endeavors and legal challenges defines this year's Valentine's Day present. Immediately after receiving praise for Trump's letter, which he characterized as a lovely and romantic gesture, Kimmel went on to mock the transactional character of Trump's relationships. This joke was the most hilarious of those that appeared on the show. Because it's based on actual occurrences, this joke is quite relatable. 
questionable. On the other hand, Kimmel's interpretation of Trump's purported Valentine's Day love letter to Melania Trump was the show topper. The crowd went absolutely crazy when Jimmy said the letter seemed more like a ransom note than a Hallmark card. Snorting, laughing, and knee slapping were some of their antics. Witnessing someone have a fit of laughter amidst all those people was like being in on a secret. Kimmel's performance of Biden's exhausting email exchange with Trump made everyone laugh. The original intention was for Kimmel's performance to be the sole focus. Observing the striking contrast between the two presidents was an interesting experience. As the home viewers gasped in surprise, it was almost audible between fits of laughter. When Kimmel made fun of Trump and Melania, did he go too far? However, there were a few who did share their thoughts on social media. Those comment areas can quickly escalate into acrimony and annoyance. Many were denouncing Jimmy, saying he had stepped over the line by bringing Melania into it. Others say Jimmy didn't go nearly far enough. She isn't exactly the political circus kingpin when compared to her spouse. Suddenly, they were clenching their pearls because of the distasteful segment. Some of Kimmel's backers would have said, hey, it's satire, baby, deal with it. Back then, the media also gave it a lot of attention, which led to a lot of stories and opinions being published. Both the Kimmel is a comedic genius and has he no shame, wings of the political spectrum were there. This is analogous to the tension one would feel while watching a ping pong match in which large real balls were utilized in place of smaller, fake ones. The never-ending cycle of hostility and counter-outrage is hard to turn a blind eye to. Does he truly value the response that Kimmel received? In all honesty, I don't know. Republicans feel the need to attack Dr. Jill Biden and Joe Biden's son Hunter, so it seems like it is only fair. Comedians like Jimmy Kimmel or Stephen Kolber have made a living by putting the spotlight on people who maybe aren't the brightest of the bunch, and once these people start talking, the material simply writes itself. You do realize that any form of publicity is preferable to none, right? To hear that his show is gaining more attention would be fantastic, despite the fact that angry cries are meant to accompany part of that discourse. Kimmel was likely grinning with pride, knowing he had stirred the pot once more, while the internet was busy having a collective meltdown. For those who like to stir up trouble at odd hours of the night, this is just another typical day. After Trump makes his statement, Kolber's lists every possible result. Donald Trump's inner circle is crumbling because to the private legal issues these ex-associates are facing. Steve Bannon, a once-valued advisor, is now facing a prison sentence for contempt of Congress and must report by July the 1st. A federal jury convicted him of contempt for refusing a subpoena from the House committee investigating the January 6th Capitol breach. Now Bannon will wait to learn how long he'll spend in jail. He was convicted of failing to cooperate with a congressional committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Skylar Henry reports on the punishment he's facing now and further charges on the way. And Bannon faces up to two years in prison. He'll be sentenced in October. This illegitimate regime, their, their judgment day is on 8 November, when the Biden administration ends. Many members of Trump's inner circle were found to be dishonest, as revealed by Bannon's conviction. It is evident that Trump's fan base is rapidly dwindling as Kimmel and Colbert mock his unpredictable conduct. Trump displayed aggressive and illegal conduct during his presidency, as is proven by Bannon's downfall. By choosing potential running mates, Trump has shown a tendency to align himself with supporters who have previously rejected him. Kimmel not only highlights the ridiculousness of their predicament, but also criticizes the lack of honesty displayed by Trump's supporters and highlights the irony of their decisions. This is proven by the president's fruitless attempts to manipulate the American people. Al Jazeera reports that President Trump has already attempted to discredit the court system and threaten punishment. His claims of political persecution execution are an illustration of the common phenomenon called projection, since he personally used the legal system to pursue his opponents. In a ridiculous attempt to get Melania back into the spotlight, Trump took to extraordinary measures such as accepting an award at a ceremony honoring her at the Mar-a-Lago Club. His increasingly erratic behavior is a sign of the emotional and public persona collapse that Trump is experiencing as his legal difficulties deepen. Trump is running for president while 
serving a life sentence, Kimmel exposes how absurd his situation is. This apparent paradox highlights the disarray in American politics and the persistence of Trump's Republican Party backing in spite of his legal troubles. The vice president's appearance on Jimmy Kimmel's show is a reaction to the guilty conviction handed down by the court. Instead of playing down the seriousness of the issue, as Trump claims to do, her comments emphasize just how bad it is. At issue, here are the risks that might arise from Trump's aspirations for public office. The questions made by Kimmel and the honest answers provided by Harris demonstrate the hypocrisy of the previous president. Interesting in joining the fight to keep democracy alive and keep fascism out of the White House? If you are someone who is tired of the lies and flat-out disgusting behavior of certain politicians, join our mission by sharing this video and channel with everyone who needs to see the truth. Subscribe, hit that like button, and send this video to everyone who believes that nobody is above the law. The truth will always prevail. Stay calm, subscribe, and vote.